can't actually... Howdy, howdy, my fellow gamers, and welcome to, I don't know what fucking episode, because we're out of order now, but this episode was supposed to be sponsored by Zaxby's and have Chrono on it, but he died of coronavirus, and uh, now it's just me and Doom again, so maybe but, next week we'll get zombie Chrono. But we should clarify, it's not the coronavirus you're thinking. He was butt-chugging Coronas at some Australian festival... Our yeah. condolences to him. Yeah, he, uh, so this one, because all the idiots out there are not buying Corona because they think it's related to coronavirus, this one is directly responsible from Corona. That snuck yeah, up on that's... me out of fucking nowhere. That was just... <laughs> that I, face was like... I tried to, like, push through it, but that just wasn't happening. <laughs> Coca-Cola right there for you, ladies and gents. Sponsor me, please. Yeah, I just... Yep. Uh, I'd just be like Randy from uh, back when America's Got Talent. Like, every time the camera turned on me, he just rotated his cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Actually, I was thinking of uh, Wayne's World. Was never like, seen it. Uh, what? I've oh, never my... seen Wayne's World. It's on my fucking list. You I'm also on the wrong scene, so this looks pretty dumb right now. I don't even know what you're talking about. There we go. Uh, I was on the wrong overlay. I was on my stream overlay. <laughs> So, like, our names weren't over there. I had, like, a chat box <laughs> over here. I've got my subscribers down there. I swear to God, one of these episodes will get everything right. And when I say we, I mean me, because I'm the only one that actually does anything on the recording end. Until, I don't know, you guys get PCs, and then maybe I don't have to do it. So, uh... Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on here? But yeah, I've never seen Wayne. Shit! You should be killed, flogged, uh, beaten. I mean, I, I want to for the cultural impact and everything, but uh, generally I'm not that big a fan of Mike Myers. I love Austin Powers, and I thought Cat in the Hat was great. Actually, I was, I've been quoting Cat in the Hat fucking like for the past couple days. You dirty hoe. I, I love not. you, baby. It was funny. It's like, who's your, uh, who's your mechanic? She called Mr. Cat Ranch. Like, the stupid shit like that I've been quoting off the movie. Yeah, no, like, it was... Such a weird fucking movie, and just a weird take on Cat in the Hat, but, like, and I, I watched it recently, and when I say recently, I'm gonna say, like, in the last two or three years, but it, it's an older movie now, so that's recent still. Uh, yeah, yeah, And that is not a kid-appropriate movie. No, it's not. <laughs> not like, at all. It, the first time I watched it, uh, my friend's mom, she was like, what the fuck are you watching? And then, like, it was the, um... Dr. Seuss's Cat in the Hat. Yeah, but it was funny because uh, it was the part where he was doing the uh, the song, and you're talking about cutting off the cat's balls. Yep. Oh, oh, boy! You know, it was so damn funny. It's like the fuck is going. It's like Shrek. I mean, you watch the Shrek and come to the same conclusions. It is totally not a kids' movie wrapped in a kids' movie. Oh yeah, no, like uh, I did watch Shrek like three months ago because uh, just I love Shrek. Great movie, and Duh. I appreciate John Lithgow even more as a uh, Lord Farquaad. Like, because I saw him in Dexter season four or whatever, and then I watched Shrek, and I was like, holy fuck, that's that's the guy. I'm not going to say who, just in mm -hmm. case nobody's watched Dexter since then. All of yeah, the show's yeah, yeah. been over for years. But, um, I just, because now he's turning into a meme, too, where uh, they're like, Denmark is shutting down its borders, and uh, U.S. is shutting down its borders, and it's like, U.K., and it's a picture of Farquaad, and he goes, some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice <laughs> I'm willing to make. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, God, yeah. I love those movies. But, yeah. uh, yeah. The it's... funniest part is, with, like, Farquaad, you ever notice, like, when he's looking at Fiona in the mirror, he pops a boner? Holy fuck. I swear, all right, so I found this by, like, legitimate accident watching the movie. I was watching the movie, and I think I was with my dad. And, uh, when he's, like, in his bed in, like, the robe and everything. Right, yeah. Or not the robe, but, like, he's got the blanket up and everything. And he goes, oh. And he, like, picks up the sheet and looks down. If you pay attention, he actually pops a little micro penis boner. A little micro penis. Sheet, you can see. You can see it go, bing. And it was like, oh, shit. And as a kid, I never realized it. And then, uh, donkey pissing out the flames. Yeah, that I noticed. Which, some people, like, didn't even realize that was a thing. Like, they thought Shrek just caught fire, and then they didn't realize he was pissing the flames out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Fucking fantastic movie. Making me want to watch it again right now. Fuck yeah. Uh, you know what else is fantastic, apparently, that I haven't seen yet, but I thought was gonna suck, despite the fact that I wanted it to do well, so I'm very happy. Uh, Birds of Prey. 
Uh, I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews on it. Like I haven't heard a bad thing yet from like 19 different people that went to go see it. Yeah, but I mean, if you look at like all the reviews and the Rotten Tomato score and all I don't that kind ever of stuff, listen to them. They're wrong. <laughs> so Jeremy Johns is wrong, and uh, what's his name, Chris Stuckman? Well, I haven't watched Jeremy Johns' review. I do okay. love him, and I do kind of listen to him. Uh, Stuckman. I watch Stuckman to see if he agrees or disagrees with Jeremy Johns. That's the only reason. Why <laughs> That's pretty much the only uh, reason I watch them. Like they're the two yeah. big movie reviewers. And uh, I personally just enjoy Jeremy Johns more. His videos are a little shorter. And uh, he just makes them more fun. Stuckman, like, you know, analyzes and reviews them, which, you know, he should. It's well done, and I like his videos. I just like Jeremy Johns more. So I'll watch their review of the same movie, and I'll just be like... Yeah, it, it's yeah. funny, because I tend to lean more towards Stuckman, even though I like uh, Jeremy Johns' videos more. But I lean towards Stuckman's uh, reviews more. But, uh... I just want to say, as good as Birds of Prey is, Sonic is destroying it. I haven't seen it. I saw it, and holy shit, I recommend any person that grew up with Sonic, I didn't. like Sonic. I don't. No one cares. No one I never played you. it, so. Go fuck off somewhere. Um, I grew up with that shit, and uh, watching that and them doing a really good rendition, um, I honestly will say that it's up there with Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu was fantastic. I'm very excited to go see Sonic. Assassin's Creed wasn't awful. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. The Assassin's Creed movie. There was, was not horses bad. on the roof. Explain that. The Assassin's Creed movie was not bad. Okay. It was horrible. I don't care what you say. It's fucking horrible. You're and just I would very Creed much fan. like the sequel to come out. Like, come on, let's Bad go. boy. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, I know. But uh. Just like a Sly Cooper, is it gonna happen? Dude, that shit's been stuck in limbo for years. Like, they were supposed to turn it into a movie back in 2016. Ratchet and Clank flopped, which we all knew it would because Ratchet and Clank is garbage. And now, so they're trying to turn the Sly Cooper into a TV series, like 52 episodes, 11 minutes long. And it was supposed to be announced back in October. It was supposed to be announced last, last October, 2018. Then they're like, no, next October, 2019. And we still didn't get shit. So now we're all just sitting here. And Sony keeps doing bullshit where they acknowledge Sly's existence. And we're all like, oh, and they're like, what, oh. what, the raccoon thing, what? And I'm like, you fuckers. So, did you see the news about the uh, thing of Sony playing with your emotions? So, did you see what Sony announced? Pretty much, I want to say I think it was end of last week, beginning of this week. No. So we all knew that there was a Last of Us movie in production. Right. Well, apparently, their HBO got the rights, and now they're doing a show. Yeah. Confirmed. Yeah. The Last of Us show is coming, and uh, what's his name? Uh, not Neil Druckmann. Um, that's the dude from Walking Dead. But the creator of The Last of Us is overseeing the artistic, like, everything. Like, he's mm -hmm. in charge of this whole thing. I saw all that, I, yeah. I thought you meant something important, relevant. No, the, that is important and relevant, you fuck. No, see, like, to me, I wasn't thinking Sony in that aspect at all, because, uh, like, HBO was doing it. And so that's why I was like, oh. So when you're like, did you see what Sony said? I was like, PlayStation 5, like, exclusives. Like, oh, what did I fucking miss? I don't know. Um, I am very curious to see just really how this year is going to go, because a lot of companies are missing out on the biggest gaming convention in the world to reveal all their shit. Well, so now they're all going to have to do separate live stream events, which isn't going to pack the same punch. E3 is not canceled. It's coming back next year. They already confirmed. So I think this might be the best thing for E3. Fuck no. No, I'm dead serious because you treat E3 like a fucking holiday. Yeah. So your opinion is going to be skewed either way. I take off I a week of work for it every year and watch I, all of it. Trust me. I know. <laughs> Uh, I think this is the best thing that could have ever happened to E3. Uh, one, because it's giving a year of rest. You know, maybe pseudo-rest, however you want to look at it. But it's a year of... Okay. It's been faltering for years and years and years now. Attendance is steadily declining. Well, Major players have been pulling out. ridiculously expensive. Do you check it every year? Do, yes. do you? Do you? Yes. Because I want to fucking go. It's on my bucket list. And then, uh... Major, you know, Sony pulled out. Nintendo pulled out first. Um, who are some of the other developers that pulled out within the past year or so? 
not really anybody. I mean, Ubisoft still shows up. Square Enix still shows up. Nintendo's still there every year through their Treehouse event. Yeah, but they're not there. There, they're they're present in there. They don't have yeah, a booth they, anymore. Or anything they like that. They stopped showing up years ago, but they've always still yeah. been a very big part of E3 because of their Treehouse, and they do still have like Reggie Feesme would show up. Sony chose to push out last year because the year before was just a god awful conference for them, where all they showed was Last of Us. Worth it. I mean, it looked good. Don't get me wrong. I'm happy that we saw it. But literally, like, you're going to take your entire E3 2018 slot for Last of Us. Yes. In that weird tent. And then you're going to make everybody get up and walk back to the convention hall to show them, like, two more games. Worth it. And then not even launch Last of Us for two more years. Big brain, yeah. Sony. Big brain. As I'm wearing a Sony hat. I just, uh, I don't know. No, my thing is I think this is like the best thing to happen for E3 because I think it's going to renew uh, – what's the word I'm looking for here? It's going to just renew the energy for it for next year. Which I'll still um, be think... 100% behind. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, hell, there was even rumors of Microsoft potentially pulling out this year. That was a rumor. There were rumors of it, but Phil Spencer was like, no, we're going. I know, but that's what I'm getting at, though. Like, if the only main corporation of the big three – is even rumored to pull out. Of course, they said, no, not happening. There's, there's something wrong there. There's clearly something wrong there. I think they need to make it a festival again. Like, not a festival, but make it something where the developers want to go to. Um, Warner Brothers was supposed to be there, and I'm really fucking mad. Yeah, but they'll post something probably around that time frame anyway. I, I know, but I maybe not. Maybe they're going to wait till next year, because they'll be like, sweet, this bought us an extra year of development, which will be okay. But I want that Harry Potter game more than I want, like, my right testicle back. Game. How'd you lose it? I sold it for my Batman Arkham Knight Collector's Edition that I never fucking got. I was gonna say, uh, I don't remember it being missing. Yeah. Um, but I mean, so for, I'm a diehard Harry Potter fan, fucking love it, gonna get the tattoo, read all the books, seen all the movies have Harry Potter shit in my room, own the Slytherin robe, Sirius Black one. Like, I love Harry Potter. And, like, the games, they were okay, but they were literally a fan service ripoff of the movies. They were kind of boring. Like, the first three, fun. And then, like, four through seven, pretty fucking shitty. And you'll still see me play them because it's Harry Potter or whatever. I've been saying for years, get rid of Harry. Give us a game at Hogwarts. Let me create my character, get sorted into a house, and do the classes by myself. I don't want to be like, oh, the chosen one. I just want to do some fucking hood rat, hoodlum, magic bullshit at Hogwarts, in an RPG form, because there's so many hidden passageways, different fucking grounds to explore, Quidditch would be phenomenal, like, give it to me, and apparently this company's been working on it for like two or three years, and they were supposed to show it off this year, and I'm like, give it to me, give it to me now. They were also supposed to show off the new Batman Arkham game, and they were supposed to show off Rocksteady's new game, and I'm like, those three things alone, that's all you need a conference for. <laughs> when Guardian Leviosa is dick, bitch! But, uh, so, yeah, I'm a little mad that they're not going to be there. And I'm still very curious to see, you know, the console showcase. Like, they still have to sell us on the Xbox Project Series X. They still have to sell us on PlayStation 5. Which, I don't think that's going to take much selling anyway. No, because I'll still buy the things. Xbox. Yeah, even though it's going to take over a year for them to get any exclusives. But apparently, Phil Spencer is saying, you know... I honestly believe this new system is going to be so geared towards streaming games, kind of like the way Sony wanted to do but didn't. Yeah. The way Game Pass is kind of taking over. I really believe they're focusing this new system for Game Pass. I really believe that. They are, because they're, they're focusing on that and cross-console stuff, because, like you said, no, no exclusives. Because Phil Spencer was like, I don't want to focus on exclusives, I want to focus on the gaming. And I'm like... I don't know how I feel about that, but now that I have a decent PC, fine, fuck it, let's go. Let's roll with it. Yeah, because it'd be so much nicer if, you know, everyone could play together. Sony. Yeah, literally looking at you, Sony. Sony. Fuckers. Because even, even fucking uh, Nintendo is on board with the, uh, the cross-platform shit yeah. for the most part. You can, you can do shit, and I don't know. Sony always seems to be the one causing problems. Bethesda DLC... Sony. Crossplay? Sony. Taking down your internet service for a month because you compromised hundreds of thousands of credit card information? Sony. Sony. Thanks. 
Sony. Yeah. But uh, but the rumor has it with all this uh, pandemic shit going on, the the consoles might get delayed. I don't necessarily know if that's gonna mean both the Xbox and the PlayStation, but since that's in Japan, which seems to be more of an issue than America, which we're just starting to get it now. Um, we'll I just wonder try if that's gonna fall. affect. Well, we're we're not gonna go go into all that now. But I wonder if that's gonna affect both consoles or just one. Potato, padildo. So it doesn't matter to you? Nope, because I'm getting the Xbox. I mean, I would like to get both, but that's. I want to get both. I'm not gonna be able to afford it, especially with all the bullshit that's happened in the last few months, which we'll delve into in a bit. But uh. <laughs> Captain Crispy over here. Yeah. But, so, like, day one, I'll get the Xbox, just like I did with the Xbox One, which is really hard to believe that it's been seven years since that bitch came out. Uh, yeah. Like, goddamn, it's been that long. Unless... I still, like, it, it's, it's weird. I still consider them new consoles. I do, too. I still consider them, like... I'm, I, like, if my kid came up to me, I don't have a kid, but if I had a kid and he came up to me and he's like, Dad, can I get the new Xbox for Christmas? I'd be like, I just fucking got you one. I'd be that guy. Dad, yeah, I'm still playing guy. on the Duke. So? Funny story. Went to GameStop today for shits and giggles to see uh, an old friend, and they had the, uh, the Duke controller there, the uh, the redone one for the Xbox One. I was that close to buying it just for shits and gigs. No shit. They had the it, it was it's it's bigger than I remember, dude. It's fucking huge. Man. It's a clunky like, ass handle, bitch. And then the white and black buttons up top and all that shit. I was like, damn. I missed out on the original Xbox. Play? I was like, dude, how did I ever play Halo on this when it first came out? It's yeah. ridiculous. Fucking horrible. Microsoft's nailed their controller though, like, because I thought the 360 controller was perfect, and I was like, I don't know how you're gonna top that. And then we got the Xbox One controller, and I'm like, this is literally perfection. Yeah, and I don't understand how you can top this. And so I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with the Xbox Project Series X controller. I think they're just launching it with, like, elite controllers. Well, uh, to my knowledge, what I think I remember seeing them talking about, they're just doing more upgrades to the controller we already have. And a rumor has it that the controllers we already have now will be able to cross, cross over. Okay. I see, mean, all rumor. But... I'm also curious touching down on rumors or it could have been confirmed uh tom clancy's rainbow six siege playstation 5 uh -oh. hope he's in quarantine right <coughs> rainbow six siege coming to playstation 5 and xbox series x cross play in the works fantastic um what's what what's the point? Why why am I gonna buy it on the Xbox Project Series X if I have it on my Xbox One already? Because it's gonna be the same game, you know, operators, maps. It's not like they're gonna give you more. It's not like Rainbow Six Siege Two. It's Rainbow Six Siege. I I wonder if they're just gonna do it like someone like me. I bought it digitally. I wonder if it'll just transfer over and you'll still have it. Which I would I would hope that would be the case. Mine's um, physical. I, it's like right there. Where where is it again? Like right there. The <laughs> finger wiggle. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm hoping that it's just maybe a enhanced version, maybe a little bit. Something like that. Nothing too crazy and over the top. And I feel like if you already have, like, the way the Xbox One and the P, well, they were supposed to do this, but they didn't do it to the full extent. If you already had the game, it was just an upgrade and you would have been okay, you know, for the games coming out. But right. that necessarily wasn't the case, now, was it? No. Thanks, Sony. It's not just Sony. That was Xbox I know. Two. On that I know. But, that uh, was Xbox Two on that one. I'm just, I'm. Kind of curious to see what they're going to do and how much of crossplay is it going to be like. Because I've been playing the fuck out of Siege on my PC. Like, I, we're fixing to become just a Siege YouTube channel, pretty much. And, uh... So, can I play with you guys from my PC? I would hope so. Even though That's we just going to be unfair. Trashed. Yeah. Trashed. And 
I'm one of those guys. I play on PC and uh, I play on console strictly. I understand that there's a big fucking gap from PC to console. Oh yeah, so I get that. Just, I have no no chance. Just wait till you see this no video ch- that you're gonna get later tonight. It's just some <sighs> crisp. Yeah, crisp, crisp. In my back. That's pretty fucking crispy. Oh, that's extra crispy. It's well done. Uh, I would go medium well. I wouldn't say well done. Skin flaking off. Look, I would not eat it because it's not medium rare. And this is also uh, just, go ahead, uh, this is a public service announcement from the gamers of the round table. If you eat your steak above medium rare, unsubscribe. Um, if you eat your bacon limp and floppy, unsubscribe. Learn to eat your meats like a real fucking man. Or woman. Doom, approve this message. Or a cactus. That too. Yeah. So, um... Batman. Well, oh, I was I was gonna go a different direction since we were talking about your extra crispy meat. Oh, yeah, um, okay. I figure we might as well just delve in for those who don't know. Go ahead and give us the story. Give us the rundown of what happened... That fateful evening. Which fateful evening? It's been a rough couple months. <laughs> Just the main one now, because if uh, anyone that watches and doesn't know about what you're talking about, your skin being crispy and all that. Let, let's start with that one first, then we can kind of backtrack everything, and we can kind of tie it all together in a nice little bow. So go ahead and tell what you're... So... Uh, your... I got set on fire. How? Uh, I was involved in a freak accident, uh... Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I keep making the joke, not on purpose, but on purpose. So, I was literally set on fire. I was at a surprise birthday party for my uncle down in Columbia. Um, like, South 75 Carolina. people came. Uh, it was a chillier weekend. I don't get cold, but a lot of the people down there do. Uh, I'd say it was maybe 45, 50 degrees. And it so, was comfortable. Yeah, they went out and got some outdoor space heaters just so people were comfortable. Because, um, I mean, big fucking party. And they're, they're not just like you plug into the wall space heaters. They're like propane fueled, like powered by generators, like big ass industrial space heaters. And uh, I'm wearing a flannel shirt and so, uh, another shirt. Actually, me... hold up. Uh, uh, well, I was going to say, let me preface this by saying that Freak, since his... Uh... His family's get together was in Colombia. I stay probably about like 30 minutes out of Colombia, so we were pretty close. So he was gonna stay at my house for the weekend, kind of make everything easy. He didn't have to travel too far. He was gonna stay up there for one night and then come back here, chill with us. And we actually had some ideas for possibly doing some vlogging stuff with him and all that, but it just never happened because, as he said, he got lit on fire. Yeah. The funniest part about this is. I can't remember. Do you remember what Laura and I were doing? You guys were watching Letterkenny. You had just finished it because she texted no. me. You sure that's what we were doing? I could have sworn we were out doing something. And then she messaged you. I was like, hey, I want to see how the party was going. No, because she messaged me and went, we just finished Letterkenny and I am not amused. And I replied and I asked her about Letterkenny first. And then I followed up with, by the way, I'm in the hospital. Yes, okay, you're you're right, you're absolutely right, yeah. I'm wrong. So, yeah, so we were chilling on the couch when we got the text. Yeah. Uh, my girlfriend messaged him, uh, messaged Freak, because like I said, he was going to be coming back the next day to be staying at our house, because he stayed the night before, and that was the plan. He was going to go up there for one night, and this is what happened. This is my shirt. I was wearing my flannel, which is completely gone, disintegrated, burnt to ash off of my skin. And then this is my sh- I love this shirt. It's one of my favorite shirts. Uh, this got melted to my back, and they had to cut it off. So, I, I don't know why I still have it. I should just throw it away. Um, you guys can't really see the extensive damage. <laughs> but, yeah. Is that, is that burn, or is that leaves on it from when you try to stop it's dropping it? burnt. That's burnt. Like, that's all just part of the crispy-ass shirt. That's the fibers in the fabric. And, I mean, Skin it goes... Fibers all the way down it was my whole back uh and like i said the flannel was completely gone there was nothing left of it it just 
up in flames into ashes all that good stuff um so yeah i got lit on fire and i was i was aggravated about it right because uh at a party of this size there's a whole lot of free alcohol i got lit on fire like an hour and a half into the party i didn't even get to like partake i had five beers Meanwhile, these other people are already trashed, and I was, like, nursing them, because I was like, I'm going to be here till like, midnight. We got to, you know, just... Space it out a bit. Yeah. And Make then the as we're land. leaving, I'm like, fuck, can... I'm going to the ER. You guys want to bring some beers at least? Like, bring me something. <laughs> Shit. Um, I was kind of embarrassed, though. Like, I, I felt bad. It was my uncle's 60th birthday party, and I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> It was also my cousin's 30th. Like, we doubled up. It was a surprise party for the 30th birthday and the 60th birthday. Uh, and then, like, I went up to the hosts, and I was like, uh, I'm, I'm I'm, so sorry. Like, this is uh, not exactly what I had in mind for this evening. And um, I, I got really hot. Because what happened is, like, I didn't sit on it. I didn't lean on it. I walked by the fucking thing. That's it. Uh, I'm walking by, my cousin's standing by it because he's cold. I pause for like half a second to go, do you want a beer? Because I'm on my way to get my fifth beer. And he goes, no, sixth beer, excuse me. And he goes, no, I'm good. And I go, okay, and I keep walking. That was the extent of me standing next to this propane field space heater. And then as I'm walking away, I hear, holy fuck, you're on fire. And I was like, yeah, I am. <laughs> um, but I was like, okay. fuck, it's okay. warm. And then I look over my shoulders and I literally just see like flames going above my head. Like my whole flannel's on fire. And I went, oh shit, I'm on fire. And uh, my first instinct was to rip off the flannel shirt. So like I, I ran forward like 10 feet trying to get it off. Uh, and then somebody there was like, stop, drop and roll. And I was like, fuck, they drilled that into your head in preschool. Uh, and so I did that and we finally got it out. And like my cousin's there. And, uh, he's trying to cut the shirt off my back and somebody's trying to come out and dump water on me. And, uh, luckily a nurse was like, stop. Cause you're going to send him into shock if you do that. Um, and, uh, I, all together, the whole event took maybe seven, eight seconds that I was on fire. And in that time I managed to get third and second degree burns up 80% of my back. Luckily, most of them were second degree on um, my lower back, which is where the fire originated. Uh, is what's got third degree. Uh, so I went to the emergency room and I'm really mad. I'm going to bitch about America's healthcare system here in a second. I right, went Barney. to the emergency room. Luckily they wheeled me right fucking in. Like so there were people in the waiting room still and they're like, Oh shit. Wheeled me in. They take me in the back. They do my vitals and everything. And the nurse looks at me and goes on a scale of one to 10. What's your pain level? I was like, fucking 10. <laughs> And she goes, I know, I just have to ask that question. And I was like, yeah, um, you know, I was lit on fire. And she goes, I got you, it's okay. Comes back, gives me a painkiller. I was like, is that morphine? Because that's what you hear about all the time in the movies. It's just fucking morphine is what you want. She goes, no, that's baby stuff. This is stronger. I was like, oh? You? <laughs> yeah? I was like, what's it called? Uh, so they gave me something called diluted. Dilata. Uh, she said it was diluted. It's like D-I-A-L-U-D. It's, it's, it's Delata. Well, the bitch said diluted, so. Well, she's fucking dumb. It's Delata. She's the one that injected me with it, so I'm going to go with what she said over what you say. She's got the degree, sir. She gave me the drugs. She gave me the good stuff. I learned it from watching you! Because then she walks in like five minutes later and goes, How you feeling right now? And I went, like a four. And that's, uh, there's a picture of me on the GoFundMe too. And when I'm sitting there, I'm like, that was right after I got the, uh, the painkillers. So then they come in and they're like, we're going to have to transfer you down to the Augusta, Georgia burn unit, which I was pissed about. I was like, you can't fucking fix me here. Like, I don't even live here. This is even worse. And they go, no, like we're not just equipped to handle burns like this. So then they wrap me up. And what they do when they wrap me up is they just tape my burns. They taped my burns. And I didn't really notice it, whatever, you know, because they're putting a wrap on me. They're bandaging me up. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm begging them to let me just drive down there with my cousin. And they're like, no, you got to take an ambulance. I was like, I don't want to take an ambulance because I know how expensive it's going to cost. And they're like, you have to take an ambulance. 
there was no reason for me to take the ambulance. The ambulance didn't do anything for me. Aside from load me in on a stretcher that I laid down in. It's not like they were giving me painkillers on the drive. It's not like I was hooked up to an IV drip. There was no reason for me to be in an ambulance. But I was forced to. So then I get down there. And uh, the nurse comes and checks on me. And he goes, alright, we gotta take a look at it. Opens up, like, my uh, robe and goes, oh, what the fuck? That's never what you want to hear your nurse say. Uh, <laughs> that is before. never what you want your nurse to say. And I'm like, what? What? And he goes, this is going to hurt. And I went, I'm on fire. Yeah, it hurts. And he goes, no, 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 no. They, they, they taped your burns. I was like, what the fuck do you mean they taped my burns? And he goes, well, there's there's tape on on your burns. <laughs> and I was like oh man I was like just get it off just get it off I don't care so, and, uh, so hold on before you go any further I just want to preface this do you remember what happened before the party yeah my fucking tire was flat alright I just want to see it cause we, that's never been mentioned again it's never been mentioned again and I just remembered it like I want to say like a day or two I was like hold on a minute this day went from fucking bad, okay, tolerable, to this. Mm -hmm. So it was already trending in the right direction. So yeah, no. Wanna... Um, it, it was not an enjoyable day because, like, literally I woke up that morning and I, I had had – I had been having car issues and a street – we'll get to that. That's part, of, that's part of the curse. So I'm like, just take it off. And so he does, and it's painful. It hurts having him take those bandages off. Um, and then he asks – do you want to take a shower? And I'm like, that's just going to hurt like a son of a bitch. No, I don't want to take a shower. Uh, I should have taken a shower. Because he analyzes it and goes, okay, you're going to be fine. That's what you want your nurse to say, not what the fuck. And uh, I got wheeled into surgery that morning. And I did have skin grafts done on my back. Uh, cadaver and pig skin before you all ask no they didn't take it from my butt I have a dead person and hog skin on my back so I'm crispy bacon now um, because the Georgia clinic specializes in like synthetic skins and alternative solutions to grafting um, it, they're fantastic for um, burns obviously and as I'm trying to sleep like I can't the pain hurts he gives me some more painkillers which is real nice <laughs> just a yeah it was, it was yeah but i mean literally on my way to the party i get a flat tire in this guy's driveway and he just sits in there watching tv while i'm out there fucking changing my tire so hold on hold on the text the way you sent it i figured you were already down the road you didn't specify like hey i'm in the driveway help me because i wasn't yeah sure i was inside watching letter kenny not even gonna lie Oh, actually, no, I was playing Halo. That's what I was doing. Playing Halo. I assumed, he said, hey, I'm leaving, going to the party, this, that, and the other. But I was like, all right, hey, have a good time. I get a text message, and he, I can't remember exactly what it says. I'm sure that's what he's doing now. He's going to pull it back up. It was a while ago, sir. I hope it's gone. It's February 15th. It's February 12th. I'm on my way down now, boo. Fucking tires. I assume the way it read when I read it is that, he got a flat tire, but and he already left. I didn't know he was still in my driveway. It wasn't like I was out there like, where the fuck's freak? Is he out there? All he had to do was tell me he was in my driveway. He didn't. Fuck tires. What the fuck? Well, I wanted to put air in them, but it's already flat. Yeah. See, he didn't tell me already flat in my driveway. Because I would have came out and helped. Whatever. But, so, I get a flat tire, my fourth one in three weeks. Um, and this fucker, I... every time something happens, this bitch just texts me and goes, Well, it can't get any worse. <laughs> Let's rewind. Let's backtrack. Let's just fucking start reeling this shit in, okay? Um, All you need to know is that I am a god when it is misfortune. Oh, and he keeps doing it. He almost killed my dog last week. So... No, you almost killed your dog. I'll take no credit on that one. Who's, no credit. Who whatsoever. said it? Well, it can't get any worse. And then what happened? You had it coming. So I move up here in August. Literally first day I'm here, we have to tow the U-Haul. 
That's $300 unexpected. And it was stuck on half a fucking millimeter of concrete. It wasn't in a ditch or whatever. It was The hitch was stuck and we could not get it out. We tried three different jacks, like car jacks, fucking two by fours with like six different guys pulling on it. And we unloaded the whole truck in the middle of the road and like nothing would get it out. So that's how we start. Then we fast forward two weeks. My car dies. I have to replace the alternator and the battery. Don't have the fucking money for it because I just gave it to the tow guy who was there for literally four and a half minutes and I paid $300. It was ridiculous. I'm in the wrong job industry. So I've got to replace my car alternator and my battery. Then after that, my dogs get in a fight. I get bit in the process. I treat the physical wound, disinfecting it and cleaning it up. I never think, hey, my hand's broken. Plot twist. It was. Uh, I left it unattended for a month uh, and had to have surgery to remove part of the bone in my pinky finger because it got infected. This is all happening while uh, my ex-fiance and I are separating and living in the same house, which is a personal hell of its own. Then, I mean, just... So, this is when I broke my leg and I was home Mm -hmm. for, uh, it was like three months, something like that, two and a half, three months. Yeah. And he would, Freak would send me a message, what was going on, this, that, and the other. And every time some new milestone of shit hit him, I was like, well, look on the bright side, it can't get any worse. And then every it Every time, does. every fucking time I say that to him, it has gotten progressively worse. Progressively worse. Every fucking time. Because then, like, um, there, there's, like, two other things, but they're personal shit that i'm gonna leave out of it and then we get to like january and all of my car tires fucking start blowing out like one a week so like one blew out i went and replaced it i'm driving the next week boom fucking blows out and the the first one was in the rain second one was in the snow um the third and fourth one went together pretty much um and then that was when i was on the way to the party that I then got lit on fire at. And so then I missed three weeks of work. Go fund me link down below. And uh, struggled to do the rent and all that. I have to drive back down to Augusta, Georgia every week pretty much for a follow-up. There's not a burn center located closer to me in Asheville, North Carolina. So that's a 10-hour drive round trip, which is just delightful to make. Uh, and I have nine more months of follow-ups. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, I don't have to make the drive every week like I've been. Um, I've got to make one in three weeks on April 3rd. Then i got to make one three months after that. And then i got to make one four months after that one. And then, you know what the real kicker is? In ten months, a brand new burn unit center opens up right here in Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> so I'm driving well back home. I've got the dogs with me because I always bring them down there. I drop them off at my aunt and uncle's house. They drive me down to the hospital. It's a whole system. It works out great. The boys love my family. And construction's happening on 26. And my pit loves to ride shotgun. He won't ride in the back. He loves to sit up front, sits like a little human, and just looks out the window. It's the cutest fucking thing. Construction goes down to one lane, and there's signs like 15 miles before that. Right lane closed. Merge left. Right lane closed in five miles. Merge left. Right lane closed, merge. So I merged left fucking forever ago. And then we get this one asshole. You know the asshole. You're probably one of the assholes. Where you're going to keep driving in the right hand lane all the way up until right before it fucking merges. Merge into the whole line of traffic right there and slam on your brakes. I have to slam on my brakes so I don't rear end this cunt. My poor dog goes flying into my windshield. Shatters my windshield. Which is fantastic because I just got my car out of the shop from replacing the tires and... Mirrors and oil change and everything. Thank you, Uncle Jack, for taking care of all that for me. And now my windshield is shattered. I stayed up for 48 hours to make sure that my dog did not have a concussion. And it's just... I need... I, I, don't, I don't take credit for this one. You said it couldn't get any worse and then shit happened. It's your <laughs> fucking fault. And then... Here's the, here's the best part. Here's the best fucking part. I text him and I'm like, stop saying it can't get any worse. Here's what just happened. And he fucking texts me and goes, well, it can't get any worse. So if I die next week, guys, <laughs> you know why. I take full responsibility of that, though. 
It's been an awful Dude, I mean, seven months. I just want a break. I don't even need good news. I just need like a month of no bad news. Just chill. Let's keep it even. Okay. I made it. I, I was coughing the other day. And one of my friends looked at me and went, with your luck, you've probably got Corona. I was like, fantastic. Fuck me sideways and call me Mary. Let's go. I mean, actually, by now, your name should be fucking Mary Esquire, whatever the fuck it is. As much as you've been getting fucked. Yeah. No, it's delightful time to be freak. Yeah, so that's just that's just the uh, the curse that I've bestowed upon him. Un- uh, unwillingly, would you even say? I don't know. I seem to kind of like it. I just like to see you in misery. I hate you so much. The funniest part is, like, when it first started happening, when all the bad shit started happening, trying to be the good friend, words of positivity, trying to bring my boy up here, get him straight, get him thinking right, and all that kind of stuff. And every time I would say that, as you can clearly see, something else would happen. And that was never my intention. But then after a while, <laughs> Dude, it became just, my intention. It's so exhausting. Like, I don't remember what it's like to not be tired. I'm so stressed all the time because, like, my phone goes off. I lied. There's more. There's more to this fucking curse. My dad never calls me. Um, I, I talk to my dad often. I love my dad. He's one of my best friends, but I'm always the one to call him. Cause like, I'm like, Hey, when are you working? Okay. I'm going to call you on your day off. So when my phone rang two and a half weeks ago, it was about four days after I had my surgery. My dad calls me to tell me that my brother has been shot. That's right. I forgot about that one. My brother was shot twice. He's alive. He's recovering. It's okay. But uh the curse is just <sighs> Hi. Hi. You can't just shove my arm out of the way when I'm on a podcast like that. That's See not... look, he's he came here to turn that frown upside down. It works every time. Look at this face. I mean just Oh yeah. Odin gets good rubs. Good rubs. He loves this armrest, too, because it, like, perfectly holds his head in place against my hip, and he just gets that, like, deep tissue loving. And he's just like, yeah, that's the stuff, Dad. That's the stuff. You can't just so, walk up. I'm doing stuff. I'm very busy. Daddy's yeah, busy. But, yeah, but dog love is more important. Dog love takes priority over everything. I exactly. could be having intercourse with a woman, and Odin will walk up, and I'll be like, get off, bitch. Odin, come here. No, don't actually come here. You're not going to... Okay. Okay. You want to come here? <laughs> Come here. Let's say hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, he's a good boy. Instant 500 subs for Odin. Right. <laughs> Subscribe for Odin. Yeah. Oh, your breath. So, uh, yeah, it's been a very fun couple months. And, uh... So that's why content has been pretty inconsistent in terms of story yep. time... Gaming videos, streams, like everything has just been. Life has sucked. Depression and. You know, what the, you know what the fucking worst part about you being burned was? You didn't do it. Okay. You want to know what the second worst <laughs> part about you being burned was? <laughs> what? This fucking slacker had to stay at my goddamn house for extra. Like, yeah. Days. I stayed there for like three more days, ate some more free food. Mm-hmm. Played some fucking video games, got some cuddles from the dogs. Uh, it's it dog. it pretty nice. Uh, what wasn't nice was how my bandages were attached to me for my stay at his place. Yeah, please, please uh, elaborate on that. <sighs> so a skin graft is very clearly going to be stapled to you. That's fine. You could staple shit to my back and then bandage me up. I won't feel it. They stapled the bandages to me. I had staples coming out of my fucking shoulders like I was on meat hooks. Staples in my armpits. I had a staple in my ass that was so goddamn uncomfortable, like I was miserable. And when I woke up from the surgery, when I'm still high on anesthesia, I went, it feels like I have a needle in my ass. And (laughs) And the nurse just looks at me and goes, you don't. It's a staple. Could have fucking told me it was stapled. I didn't find out I was stapled until like the next day, pretty much. The, the funniest part is about that, just the whole staple thing. So when he came back to the house, he, he got back, um, you know, we went to get his car, got him straight, got him set up in our guest bedroom and all that kind of stuff. The, I think it was the, the next day or the day after, we, me and Laura wanted to see 
what they did to him. You know, we were genuinely curious. I mean, shit, I love looking at fucked up shit on the internet. I can look up fucked up shit right here in my own house. It works yep. out, right? So he takes his shirt off, shows us everything, and the only thing you really see is his whole back was just covered in gauze. Like and... fucking mu mummy style, pretty much. It was yeah, just completely his whole, thickly yeah. wrapped. So he was wrapped, but you could see the outline of where they skin grabbed him, and you could see where the skin... I was like, oh, that's pretty nifty. But then it was funny. We were kind of like looking closer and we saw a fucking staple, 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 staple. I'm like, how many fucking staples did they put in you? I took a and picture like, was... of how many they took out and it's, it's gnarly, dude. It's so the, bad. The amount of staples that we saw in his back after like fully examining it, I was like, Oh, that's got to be uncomfortable. Not even including the burns, just like the mm -hmm. staples alone, because it was funny. Um, he would sit a certain way, and uh, my one, my small pity, uh, Lily, she's kind of like Odin, loves the cuddles, and will find any hole available. That, like, if you're sitting in a couch, and there's, like, that much of a hole, she's going to fit her way in there and cuddle you. Mm -hmm. She would go behind him and smack his fucking wounds. It was great. Yeah, no, it's... uh. I mean, you can see, the, like you said, the outline of the graft, and it's pretty much from my left shoulder down to my right hip. And that the staples were just so awful. He complained more about the staples than he did the burns. Yeah, like, I was used to the burns. I got, I was dealing with that. I was like, whatever, but I couldn't sleep. Like, I was taking painkillers because of the staples, not because of my burns. And it was the just... Burn? I got to the hospital the next week for the follow-up, and the nurse opened up my robe and went... What the fuck? <laughs> She's like, why would they staple this to you? I was like, I don't know. I thought that was standard procedure. And she goes, they never realized that you have to be awake to take these out. I was like, I don't even get like a local anesthetic. And she goes, no. And I was like, do you have like a special hospital staple remover? And she goes, no, it's just a staple remover. So then I'm sitting there. She goes, I was like, fuck. Then they give me surgical tape. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you, there's so many pictures, guys, like, all over the GoFundMe, the Twitter, Facebook, and everything. I'll I'll try to drop a link down below so you can see the full events of the healing process and the damage. But I wasn't allowed to shower for two weeks, which was a living hell, because I shower twice a day. I shower in the morning and at night. This is the best part, because he, uh, when he came to the house, the first thing he complained about, besides the staples, so the second thing, he's like, I can't fucking shower. I was yeah. like, what do you mean you can't shower? He's like, apparently it would fuck with the skin graft, whatever, it wouldn't take, can't get it wet. I was like, okay, it makes sense then. And so me and Laura were like, well, so you're going to bird bath or anything? And we gave him these fucking wipes, uh, just these cleansing wipes and all that kind of shit. And the funny thing is, he's getting ready to leave, and he just looks at us like, can I take these wipes home? I was like, I don't use them, I'm going to shower. Yeah, no, uh, that was a living hell, because I, I love a good shower. And, um, after I was finally allowed to shower, I'm sitting in there scrubbing, 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 trying to get shit off. And I gotta be very careful on my back, new baby skin, I can't rip it. But I'm just trying to get the surgical adhesive off of me. And it's not coming off, like, my boxers are sticking to me, my shorts are sticking to me, my shirt's sticking to me. It took me two weeks to get all that surgical adhesive off of me. Hi, Kane. Hi. The pity has arrived for his love and attention. But, uh, just want to say, uh, well, can't get any. Shut the fuck up! <laughs> so, yeah, that's but, been uh, a delightful time. Welcome to the Curse of Freak. I don't know. I feel like it's Doom's curse, because I'm the one that's cursing you. Started with the Curse of Nine, now it's the Curse of Doom. <laughs> but, uh,. Not gonna lie, glad to see you're doing alright, you're getting better. Yep. Like you're getting better every day. I'm almost done, I mean, Finally literally, all I have now is, you can't really see too much, that. Oh! Yeah, that's, oh. that sucks. That looks uh, like it sucks. Yeah, and that's actually still, like, super tender, I gotta keep putting lotion on that. But this is a, uh, like, sticky surgical pad, but it's really cool, because I can just pop it off, take a shower, pop it back on. Because they had me on, like, a cream ointment that I had to rub in, and then put a nonstick bandage on, and then ace it. It was a nightmare to do by myself. That sounds fucking horrible. Hey, stop. You cannot eat my fire shirt. No. Sure you can. Kane's like, I'll get rid of it for you, Dad. This is a bad shirt. 
Really, all he smells is crisp dad and goes, meat? Yeah. <laughs> Bacon? But, um... No, what do you want? Um, fuck, I just lost my train of thoughts because he gave me the big puppy eyes. Oh, <laughs> butt scratches for the pity. But, so, yeah, it's been a delightful time, and I'm really just hoping... Oh, Animal Crossing comes out next week, which by the time this comes out will already have been out for a few weeks. Ori came out a few days ago. Uh, we did do a o- review of Ori in the Blind Forest. Go check that out. Mm-hmm. God, these dogs are cute. Uh, I'm still working on setting up the new man cave, new stream room. Uh, gonna do lights, posters, lights, camera action. I got a casting couch back there, ladies. And, uh... Gentlemen. No. No. I mean, I I just want to see him lift weights and get sweaty. But, uh, so yeah, I think that about wraps it up, because it was supposed to be Chrono on this shit. And, uh, I think he's still asleep. So we're just no, saying he died. died. Cause fuck that guy. Died. Kid. Yeah. He was butt chugging coronas. Yeah. Fuck him. But uh this was recorded March 14th, and will probably be out on my dad's birthday, March 28th. So uh oh. you guys can type in the comments happy bu- happy birthday, Papa Freak. And uh Oh, and on a side note, um I don't know if everyone has seen the video, the promo video that Chrono did for us. Yeah. Uh, we are looking for a fourth member of the round table. Uh, Wolf, uh, I don't know the full details, nor really care, but he's no longer with, you know. He'll probably still be on podcasts in the future, but he's yeah. not actively a gamer of the round table anymore. He's just got different interests, different career and life and everything. Uh, so we want to find somebody who's actually going to be able to upload and create content. Uh, Unlike me! Yeah, pretty much. We'll find a second replacement here pretty fucking soon. But, uh... Figure it out. Fucking figure it out, man. I wish you weren't so fucking awkward, bud. Yeah, you're fucking ten-ply. But, but uh, uh... I think that about wraps it up. Welcome to the shortest episode of the Roundtable Oddcast ever, yeah. but that means that we can go play more Halo. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, before we go any further, I feel like that needs to be a series, Halo and Friends. No. Just gonna look at your pity. Okay, I understand. That is an oddly <laughs> short man giving tongue to a pit bull. He's an oddly short pit bull, too. There you go. Yeah, it works out. But, uh, so thank you all for watching. Feel free to check out the links down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, all that. We are actually almost to 1,000 subs. When I say that, I mean we're about to hit 900, but hey, that's pretty close to 1,000, right? Yeah, hey, if we can, let's get it rolling. You already know. Fuck hit yeah! Hit that sub button, hit that bell, all that shit, even though we don't upload nearly as much as we should, but you should soon. pay attention to us. So Yeah, uh, no, uh, consistent upload schedule coming out soon. Like, I've got uh, two videos already pre-uploaded for next week, so... Uh, I will say this, if you are interested in joining Gamers of the Round Table, um, Freak has uh, some links that you can go check out, mainly his Twitter, I believe, Chrono's Twitter as well, should be in the, com- uh, not the excuse me, the description below. Uh, if anyone's interested, you like what you see, all that good stuff. You like video games. Not, don't hit me up, because I will not answer. At all. Your socials fuck. aren't even in there. I know, because fuck them, I don't yeah. want their, they, no. No, we're good. They will be once you start streaming. But thank you all so much for watching, and stay freaky.